Welcome back to the Vandy Sports Podcast. I'm Joey Dwyer here from Memorial Gymnasium after Vanderbilt's 68 to 61 win over Mizzou. It feels like Vanderbilt has the weight off its back. The elephant is out of the room and the 10,000 pound backpack full of bricks is off of Vanderbilt's back. It's put it away as Vanderbilt moves to one and seven in the league, but this one feels a little bit better than just some random win for Vanderbilt. Jerry Stackhouse said, man, this one feels good. And uh, I think for a lot of people at Vanderbilt, it does. It felt like the vibes were pretty decent around this game moving into it and Vanderbilt finds a way to win behind 14 from Tyler Lawrence, 17 from Ezra Monyon, 12 from Ben Lubin, and 12 from the special man of the day, Isaiah West. He was really good, knocked down a few open shots, defended. I think Vanderbilt really needed Isaiah West to step up today and it's going to need guys like that to step up moving forward if it's going to win games like this. But again, just huge that Vanderbilt was able to get the elephant out of the room uh, and find a way to win a game and maybe have some confidence moving forward now that it's done it before to show that, hey, maybe we can find a way to win these games. And uh, we've been here before rather than just blind hope. And I think Jerry Stackhouse kind of alluded to that. He said, you can have all the confidence you want, but until you've done it, you haven't done it. And that was something that I think Vanderbilt was experiencing heading into today. And now that it's actually done it, I think we'll be better off for it. Uh, um, that's not to say that this team's going to go to the tournament or really be anywhere near it, but it's got the monkey off its back of 0-18 in SEC play, and I think that pays a lot of dividends for a lot of people in this program and uh, gives a lot of pride to those people. So big day for Vanderbilt. Is it a program-changing win? No, but I think it alters your perspective on what this season looks like a little bit. I don't think that they're going to go on some run in February all of a sudden like they did last year. I just don't think they have the pieces for it, but I also don't think that uh, – they were bad enough to be an 0-18 team in the league, and I think they probably showed that today. Um, they probably have one or two more chances that are realistic for them to get, maybe Arkansas, maybe they beat LSU or something along those lines uh, here, but just getting this one and not having to look ahead to those games and looking ahead to those games with some confidence, I think is big for Vanderbilt. I want to talk about its guard play, but first we'll talk about the Wash House, our presenting sponsor for basketball season. Are you dreading laundry days? Is stealing time to do the things you truly enjoy? Let the laundry professionals at the Wash House take care of that for you with two convenient locations in the greater Nashville area. Just drop off your dirty laundry and our professional attendants can give you back the one thing you can never have enough of, which is your time. Within 24 hours, you can pick up your nicely folded, fresh, clean laundry ready to be put away. Check out www.washhouseclean.com. Stop in today and get your time back. Vanderbilt's guards outscored Mizzou's 43-37 to today, and I think that was probably the difference here. Obviously a close game, but Ezra Mignon and Tyron Lawrence played like veterans when Vanderbilt needed them to be veterans. Uh, Vanderbilt had a stretch early where it got punched in the face, to be quite frank. 9-2 to two start for this game. Noah Carter had all nine points. Uh, Vanderbilt really couldn't seem to guard in transition. It couldn't seem to get easy once to fall, but with its leadership of Tyron Lawrence and Ezra Mignon, uh, those guys felt like they really anchored the ship. Isaiah West hit some big shots. Evan Taylor hit a big one in the first half. This one was still 20-9, to nine, though, at one point, and Vanderbilt found a way to battle through that adversity and showed that it hadn't quit on the season and it hadn't quit on today. And I think that's another big thing at this point of this season in particular is just to show, like, hey, we believe that we aren't uh, throwing in the towel at this point in the season. And it felt like maybe it could get there after Auburn and after some of the rumors that have been circulating uh, privately about guys maybe going in the portal or stuff like that. But it feels like Vanderbilt now has a chance to maybe come together a little bit and find ways to win some of these games moving forward. I think Tyron Lawrence, again, really solid today. And I think he probably could have had more than 14 points, missed some ones that he normally doesn't miss around the bucket. Uh, I think he missed a little uh, short corner shot in the first half that I thought was money. Ben on Lubin even probably missed some easy ones as opposed to what he normally hits. Uh, but again, Ezra Mignon, at the free throw line this year has been a bright spot for this team that it hasn't really seen throughout the year. Seven for eight from the line. A lot of those being in late game situations. Evan Taylor hit two big ones, if I remember correctly. And Vanderbilt, again, finds a way to win when it felt like a lot of people didn't think they could win at all. And I'll put myself in the camp that I didn't know if they would win an SEC game. The product we saw throughout the first seven games wasn't reminiscent of one that, of a team that could compete in the SEC or even compete in certain games today. I think that product was a little bit better. It still was reminiscent of a Wednesday night SEC tournament game. A lot of ugly basketball. Vanderbilt only shot 40% from the field, got fouled uh, 10 times for 20 shots, shot 22% from three. So the flaws aren't gone from this team, and a lot of those flaws they overcame today to win. Shows you that maybe it's not Vanderbilt being a whole lot better than Mizzou. It's just them having 
less amplified flaws at this point. Uh, I think Vanderbilt also has two better scores in the backcourt than Mizzou has. And again, veterans were veterans today for Vanderbilt. Uh, when Missouri went on that run, this team didn't quit, uh, and it put a body on Noah Carter, got that stop, uh, got a few stops on Noah Carter. He started to miss some shots, had 14 points in the first half, only six in the second half. Uh, ben Allen Lubin again said, just got to put a body on him and close out, and uh, it did wonders for Vanderbilt moving forward. Tamar Bates was good in the second half, but so were Tyron Lawrence, so was Ezra Mignon, uh, so was Ben Allen Lubin, and Evan Taylor wasn't great today, but did have nine points, and. Did some really good things down the stretch, had 11 rebounds. Tyron Lawrence also had eight. Lubin had eight as well, 12 and eight from him. Uh, you live with, I think, even though he was a little bit inefficient. But again, Vanderbilt, even without Rivera Torres, who was a little bit sick, uh, playing a whole lot, found a way to win this game. And I think just being able to do that and hang your hat on something at this point in the season is huge. Even Rivera Torres, I think, was something they were hoping they could hang their hat on. And, he hasn't consistently been producing, hasn't scored in the last two games. Uh, I think it was odd that they put Grant Calton in over him, but finding a way, albeit not in a pretty way, uh, says something about uh, whether this team had thrown the towel in or not. And I think pretty similar situation last year against Ole Miss in a bad game. Uh, Vanderbilt found a way to win. I'm not saying that they're going to turn it around and go beat Kentucky on Tuesday like they beat Tennessee last year, but I think they certainly have a chance to maybe get one or two more after this. Uh, and I think maybe that's the big takeaway from today is it's not going to be 0 18. It's not going to be historically bad. It's, in some ways, it will be probably. But it's not going to be 0 18. And it's not going to be Bryce Drew's last year uh, all over again. Vanderbilt finds a way uh, to avoid that and prove that this team isn't completely terrible. Bad teams find a way to lose. Uh, and Vanderbilt didn't do that today. And Mizzou did. So nice win for Vanderbilt. Uh, and really, it didn't matter how they won this game. It just had to find a way to win it. It might move up a little bit in Ken Palm in the net, but that doesn't really matter. It's all about feel at this point of a year like this. And Vanderbilt has that more so than it has since maybe early November, probably before the Presbyterian game. Just a, a win that gives you some optimism that maybe there's something here. And I think we saw that today. We saw that there is something here. Uh, what that something is again I think we know what that something is uh, it's not much but there's something beyond 0 and 18 for this team and this team has a chance to do something at all and that's where we're at that's the reality of this team I think we got the reality seeing how that game was played and seeing that Miss Missouri hadn't won a game in the league and maybe won't at this point but just Vanderbilt Vanderbilt's toughness down the stretch and rebounding ability I think was really important as well. Vanderbilt rebounded the heck out of it today and it hadn't really done that in the past. The front court matchup was a lot more favorable for them, which I think was kind of the path here. If uh, Mizzou had a good big, I think this game would be completely over for Vanderbilt, but Van Allen Lubin was tough. He fought and really outplayed a lot of their bigs throughout the day. So good win for Vanderbilt and we'll see what happens on Tuesday against Kentucky. I wouldn't get your hopes up, but I think a win is a win, and you'll take that at any point uh, in a season like this. A season that really hasn't had a lot of, whole lot of hope, uh, has maybe not hope tonight, but at least a positive feeling and a different story as to what we're normally dealing with. So thank you guys for watching. God bless. Talk to you later. Peace.